My name is David Smith. I'm the author of three books in the Citizen Kid series. The first one was If the World Were a Village. That was published first in 2002. Then that was followed by If America Were a Village, which was published in 2009. And then this year saw the publication of my newest book, This Child, Every Child. They're all picture books. They're all based around larger concepts that help people frame the world and think about the world in various ways. Uh, my first book, If the World Were a Village, I was inspired to write because of one of my grade seven students who said, Mr. Smith, I have to decide whether to take French or Spanish as a foreign language, and I don't know which one to take. And I said to him, well, what is it you need to know? He said, well, which language is most important? And I said, they're both important. What do you mean? And he said, well, if our classroom were the world, how many of us would speak French? How many would speak Spanish? How many would speak English? And so on. So we went and looked it up in a book, because this was still 1986. We went and looked it up in a book called The World Almanac. And he took Spanish because it's more widely spoken than any of the other languages that he was considering. And that got me thinking. Taking imponderably large numbers, the population of the world and, and the number of people in different categories, and reducing them to a, a size that you can actually get your brain around really helps and is really interesting and important. The new book, This Child, Every Child, came out of a very simple inspiration, which was I was looking for another title, another book, something else to write, and I'd looked all kinds of interesting places and done a lot of thinking and tried out a few different topics. And then one day I happened to read the United Nations Convention on the Rights of the Child. And it was so perfect and so clear and so articulate and so right. Children do have rights. Children have inalienable rights. And the UN Convention on the Rights of the Child states them very clearly. So I wrote to UNICEF and I said, can I use this as the backbone of a book? And they said, oh yes, absolutely. We've been waiting for someone to ask. So I wrote the manuscript and I sent it to UNICEF and said, please tell me how this needs to be tweaked. What can be changed? How can I vary things? And they wrote back and said, don't change a word. It's perfect. We all sit down together at the same table, all seven billion of us. We all eat the same food. We all drink the same water. We all breathe the same air. We all use the same resources. And anything we can do to take care of other people on the planet takes care of us as well. I wish you good luck. I hope you enjoy my books. Thank you very much.